We have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. That was the president today in the Oval Office and with us tonight to talk about what happened. Steve Schmidt, political veteran of the Bush White House and the McCain presidential campaign, uh, well known to our viewers as an MSNBC political analyst. Steve, uh, at events like this, the president uh, is our surrogate. He has our proxy. Guys like Brian and Steve may never get the chance to thank those gentlemen for what they did. So we rely on our president in public at an event like that to do so. That's why I think it got to so many people. Um, uh, what he said, the nature of his remarks, if you don't mind, remind people why it was uh, important visually that this thing took place while Andy Jackson looked on, given all the paintings in that building. And second, the role of the Navajo Code Talkers among their fellow veterans in the Second World War. Well, of course, Andrew Jackson, the president who was the architect of the Trail of Tears, uh, virulently uh, 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 cruel to the Native American population in the United States at that time. Um, and who these men are behind the president of the United States today, uh, they're United States Marines. Uh, they are part of the approximately 450 Navajo code talkers who served in the Marine Corps in all six United States Marine divisions in the Pacific, uh, including the Marine Parachute and Raider regiments. Uh, they served on Iwo Jima, Okinawa, Guadalcanal, Peleliu, the Marianas Islands. They were present for some of the toughest fighting in combat in the Pacific theater. Their heroism, their skill saved countless lives. Uh, these men are American heroes. When you see World War II veterans, United States Marines wearing that many combat ribbons, uh, it's a rare sight and it's testament uh, to all of those men's uh, great duration under enemy fire in harm's way in combat. So these are American heroes. And again, tonight you saw the president fail in the execution of some of the most basic duties of the office of the president of the United States, another moment of degradation to that majestic office and another moment of personal disgrace, in my view, for Donald Trump as commander in chief and president of the United States, failing in his most minimal duties as, as the American head of state. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.